What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Python and Pandas tutorial video. In this video, what we're gonna be talking about is function mapping. So the idea of this is, you know, with Pandas, we've got a lot of really great um, built-in operations that we can do. Um, but we might come to a point where we find that there's not either, either, either isn't a built-in operation or we don't know it uh, with Pandas. And so this is where function mapping comes into play. And function mapping still works pretty well uh, with pandas. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and just delete everything after the definition of df. Um, it's really no point to have the rest of this stuff here. So we'll delete that. I'll make some more space and now we're ready to code. So now it's defined just a simple function. This is going to be a s stupid simple function just to show you guys that first of all it will be row by row. It will still iterate through the row uh, or row by row rather. Um, and um, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to say this. It basically will work as if, like you would basically just build the function as if you were building it or as if it was a function built into pandas. So let me just show you guys an example. So we'll say define function, and then this function is obviously gonna have some data that's passed through it. So now we're gonna say x equals, and we gotta import random. Let's just import random here, import random. So x is equal, e, gonna equal random.randrange, and it's gonna be random range zero to five. And then we're gonna just say return, oops, return data times x. Wow, there we go, data times x. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass a single column through here. And the, the data parameter is gonna be that whole column. We're just gonna use it, we're gonna pass through that pandas column. And then x is equal a random zero to five. And what you'll find is that it for every row, it's a random zero to five multiple, okay? Um, so this is how we know it's iterating through all the rows. And instead of data, we could pass through all of the columns or three columns. You could, you could put data, data two, data three, and or column one, column two, column three, whatever you wanna call the parameters. And you can perform functions on those parameters. So for now, we'll just do one column one parameter and it's just going to be a random range just to kind of prove to you that it's really is uh, iterating and doing random things per row and, and so um, anyway we'll see that in a second so now we're going to say df and then we're going to say um, multiple because it's a multiple df.multiple equals and then we say map and then this part's a little tricky but it's not too fancy now we're going to say the, the function that we want to map, and that's going to be function. <laughs> and then, instead of putting in you know more parentheses here for the parameters, instead what we do is we say function comma, and then we put the parameters in. And this one only has one parameter, so we're just going to put that one parameter. But that parameter is df close. Now what we do is let's print df dot head, save and run it. And now we can see, um, here's our multiple column right here. And you can see here that we, you know, one of them looks like it multiplied it by two. Next one was zero. Next one's probably three or four. Um, and then in the next one's same thing again, and then it's zero. So as you can see already, just with these few, we definitely had different ones. So it's definitely contingent by row. And then it does the entire function itself by row. So really quite simple to make your own function. So obviously you could do all kinds of things yourself um, now with this. And uh, you can also pass through things like you could say, um, you, know, you can reference previous data points and all of that with, with going through function mapping. So there's, this pretty much opens the door for anything that is not included in pandas yet you wanna kinda of use the efficiency of pandas because this is gonna iterate through um, kind of like in generator form instead of a typical for loop that you might write. Um, so it's still going to be pretty efficient. It may not be the most efficient code since, you know, what you're writing in here might not be very efficient. But uh, you'll still be able to utilize pandas. And then once you're done, it's still in a pandas data frame. And you can still do everything else that you've always done in pandas. So that's just like a quick example of what you need to do to map a function um, so you can kind of keep working with pandas just in case pandas doesn't have an operation that you really need. You can write it and then map it. 
So anyways, uh, that's it with this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching.